أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Very often when we speak about Islam we speak about the religion of moderation the religion of middle path and this is what we have in the Quran وكذلك جعلناكم أمة وسطة and then we made you the religion or the, the middle path so أمة Wasata, it's the, 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 the community of the middle path. And this is what we have to try to be in our life. And to avoid excess and to avoid uh, extremes. This is what we have to do. And we have this in Surah Al-Rahman when it is said uh, also and, and talking also about this balance that is uh, uh, so important. La tukhsiru mizan. Don't miss. Don't destroy. Don't uh, corrupt this balance that we need la tukhsiru mizan wa aqimu al wazna bil qist wa la tukhsiru mizan so you have to set this balance in the right way and not to lose this balance everything in our life has to do with balance with stability with trying to find the the moderate path in our life and the mod moderation here has to do with everything in our life. It has to do with the way we deal with life and hereafter. So among the people, وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ Among the people, مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً Or oh, give us the good, the hasana, which is everything which is good in this life and in the hereafter. It's balancing between this and that. And at the same time, when we think about our life, we should think about the hereafter as much as we think about our life here. So you'd have uh, to expect to look for what is good for the hereafter. But do not forget your share in this life. It's all about moderation. In the way we look at our life, it's very important to try to be saved. And our salvation in the hereafter is important. But it has also to do with the way we deal with our life. It's a balancing or a balanced approach, which is so important. Having said that, we need to get it in everything in our life. The way we eat, it has to be, we have to avoid excess, we have to resist any type of excess in the way we eat, in the way we drink, in the way we dress, in the way we think, in the way we behave, in the way we are spending money. That you have to eat and you have to drink and you have to avoid excess in everything. And the months of Ramadan is very much about this. It's very much about avoiding excess. It's to remember the limits and the, the way we have to balance our life. It's not to eat, not to drink uh, during the day in order to have a balanced life. Not the other way around where we have some brothers and sisters who are very, it's full of excess during the night. It's full of excess when comes El Maghrib and they are eating and drinking too much, which is exactly the opposite of the philosophy of Ramadan. Now, this is important in our life, even in the way we pray. And we have so many examples coming from the seer of the Prophet ﷺ, when he was saying to people, do not be excessive in the way you pray, in the way you fast. Just try to find the right balance. This is a struggle. This is resistance, and especially in our consumerist societies today. This is why we have to come with our principles in order to avoid the excess and to set as it should be the balance of what is a good life in the name of God. Remember to tell the people you love that you love them. Life is fragile. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.